Hey guys, it's me, KZ, and I've got another book review for you today. This week, I am coming at you with Jonathan Oxier's book, The Night Gardener, and there it is, the cover. It's nice and shiny there. You can see it reflecting. A little creepy, if you want to think about it that way, but a little cool, too, for the cover, and that is what this book is. In fact, let me give you a little bit of the premise. Uh, you have Molly, who is 14, and her brother Kip, who is 11, and they have lost their parents or are separated from their parents at the beginning. It's not clear what has happened to their parents. What is clear is that they are on their own looking for a way to support themselves, and they are looking to find someone to work for. So they are venturing to this home, which is isolated from the village, which no one in the village wants to go to because of this weird vibe that is set all around it. Everyone is frightened of it. And when they get to this house, they can see that that is grown up around this tree or built around this tree, or the tree itself is grown through the house. But very much the setting is a part of the story in this book. All right. So those of you who are teachers out there, use setting in this one. Um, what you'll then see is that the family who lives in this house, the one for whom Kip and Molly end up working, uh, is really pale. Their skin is cold. Their hair is dark. And there's something happening in this house that seems to be draining them of life. And that's where the night gardener comes in. He is a character who comes every night. He is creepy. He is otherworldly. And the characters must figure out first what exactly he is doing and then rectify the situation. That's the general plot line of the book. Now, in terms of its reading level, I think you could do this with anywhere from fourth to ninth grade, really. There are some uh, vocab words in there that I even had to look up. I didn't know all the words, um, but they're not, they're not overwhelming. It's just every once in a while. Um, it's very interesting to anyone who loves that paranormal activity and that kind of suspense, but it's not overwhelming in its terror either. I don't like scary books. I enjoyed this one. I didn't feel too frightened. I was even able to read it at night, which I'm not always able to do if I confess the truth. But this one also deals with truth, definitely deals with story and the power of story, uh, and also has the element of home all drawn in. So if those things appeal to you, this might be a book for you. We've got the reading level, about four through nine. Subject matter, same. So you can, you can do that there. Um, and my rating is a three out of five. I gotta say, it's not my favorite. Um, my favorite Jonathan Oxier is the one that made me read this book. It's called Sweep. Uh, that one's a five out of five. And I have that review somewhere, but I never posted it. Maybe a bonus sometime, someday. Not now. Go grab, grab a book and read.